Hey guys, I'm Vadim from Bscrap. In this video, we'll take a look at the Bscam's manual control features. Manual camera controls are essential when you want to achieve great results and not rely entirely on auto mode. While almost any third-party camera app on the market gives you access to all of the controls, a lot of them struggle to deliver a practical user interface that is efficient and optimized to provide an excellent user experience. I think we made it just right and let me show you why. So let's start with our main video settings. In this example, I'm not using an external microphone, but I want to select my front face and microphone in audio settings. With a single tap, I have access to my sound menu, where I can choose any of the available options through a single screen menu. I'm not using any external lenses that would require some kind of correction, such as anamorphic or DOF adapters, but I want to shut down my image stabilization and apply grids. All of that can be done via another single menu window, just simple like that. And lastly, I need to set up my resolution, frame rate and bit rate. Once again, all of the settings can be applied via another single window menu. As you can see, it took me just a few taps to get all of the main settings for my video to be applied. On top of that, we also have an advanced preset functionality to speed up your camera setup even more. So make sure to check our video about presets too. Now let's take a look at the actual image controls. At the bottom of the screen we have our white balance, focus, zoom, ISO and shutter speed controls. As you can see each of the controls displays its current value underneath. Since all of the current settings are in full auto mode, all of the values are displayed in white color. Now I'm going to lock my exposure with exposure radical after tapping on it. So my ISO and shutter speed values will turn blue, the same for focus. This color change helps to quickly see which of the controls are in auto and which are locked. Plus you see the actual values all the time. So let's see how to adjust all of these parameters manually. When you tap on any of these icons, you will get access to a dedicated slider that allows you to change settings manually. In white balance settings, there is also additional menu which gives quick access to some of the popular white balance presets. Now I am on auto, so my white balance auto adjusts based on the lighting changes in my scene. To lock my white balance, I can simply tap on Kelvin icon. As you can see now, my Kaolin and Tint values are locked and color changed to blue. Now we can adjust color temperature with a slider, also you can switch to Tint and change its settings via slider too. You can also use up and down arrows to change the values in precise steps. This will ensure the precise replication of any of the settings every single time. The same we have for our focus and zoom manual adjustment via sliders and precise steps by using up and down arrows on slider if necessary. Exposure is controlled with both ISO and shutter speed and each can be adjusted individually. The shutter speed slider is divided by standard shutter speed values and each change will be applied within those steps. As you may notice, we also have a third icon which is related to exposure controls which says SE or smart exposure. Basically, this one will allow you to fine-tune your exposure with a single slider that controls both ISO and shutter speed, which is similar to exposure control slider in a native camera app. Depending on initial exposure, if you want to darken your image, first this slider will reduce ISO to its minimum, then it will start to increase the shutter speed. And vice versa, if you need to brighten up your scene, First it will reduce your shutter speed to its limit, then it will start to increase the ISO. The single slider control is extremely helpful when you need to quickly fine tune your exposure in run and gun shooting scenarios. Also if you noticed, white balance, focus and zoom have three numbered icons. These icons allow you to save local presets of your custom settings for each of the controls. This and other more advanced presets functions are described in another video, so make sure to check it out by the link in description. And last thing I want to show you is our gesture controls. If you go to the settings menu, we have an option to enable gesture controls. Let's enable it. Now we can change our focus, zoom and exposure even faster without getting into the menus. 
pinch to zoom, swipe up and down for focus and left to right for exposure. And by the way, photo mode has exactly the same image control as a video mode. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to watch other Bscam videos. We also have a detailed knowledge base on our website. And don't forget to get the Bscam in the App Store and leave us a positive review. All of your support help us to continue to create and innovate. Thank you and I will see you soon in the next video.